Hello, in this week's video, we're looking at Go Formative. So, what is it? Well, it allows you to create worksheets, digital worksheets that you then share with your student via a class or via Google Classroom, and they can work through activities. But more importantly, you can see what they're doing as they're working. So, if I just go back to the start, so down the left, you've got various formatives. You can either search for existing ones and add them, or you can create your own. So we click plus to create a new one. So here's one I've started working on already. You add your title in here. You can change the color of the background, or you can add an image. You can then choose whether it's an assignment type, a benchmark, a classwork, a do now warm up, or an exit slip. You can then add various elements. So we click on the plus, you can embed content using an iframe, you can add an image, a text block, a whiteboard or a video. You can also add questions in the following formats. And if you pay for the subscription, you can have an audio response, a categorize, a graphing and a resequence option. And as it says here, you can also upload and enhance a PDF or a document. Um, and there's a limit of 20 pages per month for that unless you go for the un upgraded option. So I've added some text here. I've added a multi-selection question and I can choose which is the correct question. I've then just added some text referring to the whiteboard. And the whiteboard's a really nice function where you can add an image and then get the students to do stuff or you can just get the students to do an activity on the whiteboard. I've then used an iframe to add a video. I could just use a link, but it's very straightforward. I've then got a short answer question and I've provided two possible answers to that question. So if I then go to assign and share, I've created a classroom and I've shared it with my class there. So if I now switch across to the student view, I can see I'm already in my class. I can open up and this is how the student sees it. So I've got the instructions there. And I've got the questions. So I could have some questions beneath this to do the labels. I can watch the video and I can answer the questions. So if I start by answering the questions, I could watch the video. I can even put in my answers in here. And when I'm happy, I can hit submit. If I just go back to the teacher view, we'll be able to see the responses that I've already made. So I can see the progress there. I can export those results as well. I go back to the student view and hit submit. And then return back. I can see who's answered what. So it's a great way of seeing who's answered what. And if we go back home again, and we change it from lab to do now warm up, I can actually view what they're doing as they do it. Especially if I come here and add a show your work option.
type in my question and I can actually see them answering it as they go. So there you have it, a quick look at GoFormative, a great way to get students working either drawing a lesson with you or independently outside of a lesson on a number of activities and then allowing you to review the results. If you like the video, please share it and remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again next week for another EdTech video. Thanks for watching.